Now, highlights of the Australian Grand Prix from Melbourne. It's race day at Albert Park, Melbourne. Formula One 2001 is in gear. Round one is the Australian Grand Prix. Hello there, welcome to Albert Park. Michael Schumacher comes here going for his fifth successive victory and the world champion is in great form in qualifying. He's the class of the field this weekend and sets pole position with a stunning lap in the Ferrari, nearly four seconds quicker than Hakkinen's pole time last year. Done it! Wow. Six tenths of a second faster. Competition from new tyre supplier Michelin sent the lap records tumbling, but not far enough for the McLarens. Hakkinen and Coulthard unable to suit their new cars and rubber to this track. And they're further hampered when the session is stopped after new boy Luciano Berti suffers a breakage on his Jaguar. Thankfully, though, Berti is OK. No one can get anywhere near Schumacher's best time. Ferrari's defence of their title starts here. And so Michael Schumacher on pole for the fifth time in successive races. Barrichello making it an all scarlet front row. Hakkinen third alongside the rejuvenated Heinz Harald Frentzen in the Jordan. Ralph Schumacher, the first Michelin runner, fifth ahead of a disappointed Coulthard. Row four, Trillian Villeneuve, while Panis and Heidfeld round out the top ten. Montoya starting 11th for his first Grand Prix alongside Irvine. Kimi Raikkonen and Alacy, row seven, then Verstappen 15th and Button down in 16th in the new Benetton. His teammate Fisichella out qualified 17th ahead of Bernaldi in the Arrows. Alonso's Minardi, a great performance that one, and Mazzacani in the Prost and Bertie's Jaguar. Minardi's Tasso Marquez didn't make the qualifying cut, but the stewards showed a bit of leniency and allowed him into the race. The Australian Grand Prix then with your commentators Martin Brundle and starting his final year in the commentary box, it's Murray Walker. <laughs> 